Red Yeti here and today we're going to be looking at the top 10 most useful redstone circuits. So sit back and enjoy the video. So coming at number 10 is the pulse extender. Now this is a really good circuit because you know dead simple and all you know all you have to do is add a button here and as you can see it will extend that the redstone pulse and then turn off. Now the good thing about this design is that if you shorten it just that little bit as you can see like this you can make it not just a really long pulse extender but actually a fairly short pulse extender so if you hit that one now you can see that it lasts considerably short. So coming in at number 9 is the monostable circuit. Now this design is particularly uh, simple because all you need to do for this one is go ahead place a block and then a diagonal block for that a sticky piston a block on top of that and then a block to the side of it and a redstone repeater like that and some redstone dust there now how simple is that now as you can see well as you will know lots of people use these in their redstone builds these are extremely useful and they can also be converted into something i'm going to show you next redstone circuit so coming in at number eight is the t flip-flop now this is essentially the same thing as we had before only all you're doing is adding a sticky piston with a redstone block so as you can see if we go ahead and grab ourselves a redstone lamp and place that here you can hit the button and it will be a solid signal and you hit again and it will be a solid a not solid single it's like a lever but it's like a converting a button into a lever which is really cool and I use this this uh, well the opposite I use the monostable circuit in my hopper timers don't you don't I so yeah it's pretty simple you know dead, dead useful uh, yeah all right so let's move on to the next one and I'm sure you've all seen this one the hopper timer yes it's one of my favorite designs so as you can see, if you place, say, uh, a couple of items in here, they will count the items and switch over. And you can take the pulse from anywhere. From You can take it out of this block here. And you'll have to convert that into a monostable circuit, obviously, or whatever you want. Or you could take it straight out of this one here. Or the same on the other side. Or you could take it... Believe it or not, you could take it straight out of here. Yeah, there's loads of places you can take this input from. This is one of my favourite circuits in the whole of Minecraft. Let's move on to number six. So this is number five. Yes, it's the auto-firing dispenser. If we go get these items here and we place them in, you can see that the redstone gets shot out. Yeah, it gets shot out really easily. So that was number five. This is a really good design. Uh, yeah, so let's move on to number four. Now this is another sort of hopper clock, really. Another good hopper clock. And yeah, how this works. So let me just stop this for you guys. Uh, sorry, let's just place a redstone torch there. Uh, redstone dust. And what you want to do after you've got your repeaters in a pattern, you can set them to as many ticks as you like. Yeah, and what you want to do is place a torch and quickly destroy it. And as you can see, it'll start rotating around. And take you can take your inputs from here, here, here. You know, it's obvious where you can take your inputs from. Anyway, so let's move on to number three. Oh, coming in at number three is the automatic minecart unloader. So if I go ahead and get ourselves a minecart with chest here, and we place that minecart in, we chuck a bunch of items in, we give it a push, as you can see the items will unload into here and then it will shoot back off again automatically brilliant so if we look at quite the opposite here we've got a hopper and it's basically the opposite if, if we chuck a bunch of items in we chuck ourselves a minecart down there as you can see the minecart will un will load up the items and shoot back off again taking our items to what i showed you at number three this was number two let's move on to number one I just could not forget this one. Yes, it's one of the simplest circuits in Minecraft, but does that matter? Yeah, it's just an inverter. So yeah, you want, yeah, basically 
you've got an on lever, but you want the output to be off. So you do is flick that, you know, it's probably one of the simplest, it's probably the simplest circuit on Minecraft. In fact, I'm not even sure if it's a circuit, but yeah, it's really useful. So this concludes this video. These circuits were in no particular order. And yeah, so if you enjoyed this video, drop a like below. And if you really want more of this awesome content, then make sure to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next time and I'm out. I'll see you later. Oh, <laughs>